Your dreams are waiting on you. If you want to change your life, you got to do it. You got to put in the work. You got to take the action. You got to go through the process. Nobody or nothing else is going to do it for you. A lot of us, we get stuck in our head. We think way too much. We overthink everything. We even overthink things that we have a solution for. Why do we do that? It's just human nature, right? But the thing is, we can reverse those things. We can reverse those things by getting into our body, pushing ourselves to do things. I've mentioned these examples many times before, but think about it. You wake up in the morning, you know what you got to do, but you sit there and you lay there and you think about it. And the more you think about it, the worse it gets. You walk in the house, you see those dishes piled up. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. You got a bunch of homework. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. You got to get out of your mind and get into your body. Go do those dishes. When the alarm clock goes off, get up. If you got homework, do it. Instead of waiting for you to get 10 homework assignments, do one, two, three, four, five. Get them down. But we stay in our head too much. We think too much. We don't take enough action in our lives. That's why our lives don't change. That's why our dreams are sitting there. They're waiting on us, waiting for you to do something. But you got to do it. Now, it sucks, you know? Life is not the easiest thing going on around here. Life is hard. We have ups and we have downs, but it's all the same. You make the biggest changes in your life, the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act upon certain things that makes the biggest changes in your life. I was supposed to make this video a day or two ago. You know, my, my journey started last year, around this time. I made an important decision in my life on September the 28th of last year. I was feeling extremely bad and I had been planning for a while, but I said, you know what, during the new year, I'm gonna start a YouTube, right? I'm gonna start a new YouTube and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all in. And then another thought came over me and it was like, why don't you just start now? And you have all that you just built up from September all the way to December going into the new year. Why not do that instead? You'll be much more ahead by then. And I was like, you know what? I can do that. So last year on September 28th, I sat down, I didn't feel well, and I made a video. I'll have the video link down below. It's my first video. It's not hard to find. Life has exhausted me. And I went on, you know, talking about what I was going through, but the message was that life has exhausted me. I felt like this in a way before, but this time I'm going to do something about it. And I started my journey. I posted a video, you know, at the end of September, and then I posted two in October, and then I went on a marathon from November to December and halfway into January for 65 days straight. I ended November with 1,000 subscribers give or take, and I ended December with 60,000. Mid-January, 100,000. Now we at 450,000, going to 500,000. But it was because I took action. I didn't lay there, I didn't cry and moan, and well, I did. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. But I didn't stay there. I had my moments, I let those things out, and I allowed myself to be a human and feel things. Because we're not robots and we're not projects. So when you hear me say anything, when you hear anybody say nothing, say anything, don't take it that way. You're not some project. There's no one one step solution that fix everything. We all different. We all feel things different. We're going through different things, but we all the same in a way. But I didn't lay there and let my sadness or let the ups and downs of my life dictate what I was going to do. Now, I did feel it. Like I said, I did grieve. I did go through things. But I made the important decision that I wanted my dreams and I wanted my life to change. And I was the only one who could do that. I had the I had the plans. I had the vision. I'm thinking about it every day. I got everything going on in my head. I'm seeing everything that I'm doing right now, everything that I'm experiencing right now. Last year, I was thinking about all those things. Like I'm seeing it. I'm daydreaming. I'm washing dishes. I'm pushing carts and I'm daydreaming about my life, how it is now. Like I see everything, but the only thing that bridged that gap was for me to take action. And you have to, there's something that you wanna do, something that you've been thinking about, something that's burning a hole in your skull that you need to do. It's probably asking somebody out. You may wanna ask somebody to the dance. It's around that time. It's starting to get cold. You may wanna be in a relationship with somebody. You may wanna be friends with somebody. You may wanna connect with somebody. Stop waiting around before somebody else get in there and do it. It may be a job you wanna apply for. It may be some sort of activity you wanna do. Maybe something you wanna try. Stop thinking about it and go do it. You gotta go do it. Nothing is gonna happen if you let it sit there and simmer in your mind. 
And you also got to understand when the negative things come into your life, the things that you've been stuck on since yesterday and the day before that and the year before that and the decade before that, the things that come into your brain, you do not have to entertain. Thoughts are always going to creep into your mind. Understand that your mind tells your brain what to do. Your brain tells your body what to do, but you tell every single one of them what to do. You control your mind, but you got to take control of that. People don't realize how much control they have over their life, their mind, their body, their spirit. You have it all. You have it all, but you got to understand that. And you got to be that. You can't just think and understand it. You got to actually be that. You got to take action and move through those thoughts. Your life is in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. You got to make those changes. And it's not going to be easy. It's really not, but I'm telling you. I don't know what it is about life and momentum, but it's so hard to get momentum. It's so hard to get it, but when you get it, you gone. You start to fly. Now that momentum will slow down. You may hit a rock, you may hit a wall or something like that. Something is gonna happen, but when you get that momentum, when you get past that worst part of the grind that you first start, you gotta warm your body up. It's like you can't stop running. You get high off life, you get high off the process, then you start to get the results of what's going on, even even when it doesn't go the way you intended it to go. Let's say, you know, you finally got out of the house and you wanted to make friends and you want to talk to some people and they were all rude. And he was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to make some friends, but everybody was rude, but that really wasn't that bad. And it made me want to, it made me want to go talk to more people. You go to a job and you crush the interview and then they tell you, you know what, you're not really a fit. And you'd probably be bummed out, but it's like, man, that wasn't that bad. I can keep doing that. And then you, you know, you go try a new skill and you start learning and it sucks at first. And then a few months later, you start to pick up on it and things start to get fun. You start to have fun. You start to get addicted to that process. And that momentum going to take you. And then you're going to have those plateaus. You're going to get stuck. Things are going to suck. But when you keep pushing through, that momentum comes back and you start flying in the wind. And then you get to the point where you go through that so many times you understand that there are ups, there are downs. But that's what makes it beautiful. And if I'm, if I'm willing to push through the downs in life, the ups are going to be beautiful. And while I'm up there, remember that I can fall so I can stay up there as long as possible. But understand that me being down and going up is what makes it valuable. Understand. It's the duality of life. But I just want to bring some motivation. I want to show y'all what it looks like when you take action. When you put yourself first. When you get out of your brain. Get out of your mind. When you actually do things for yourself. Instead of beating up on yourself. We good at that. We can beat up on ourselves and tell ourselves that we not this and we not that. And we take action in all the wrong ways. You talk crazy about yourself. You don't take care of yourself. You lay there and you complain and you do the same things over and over. You're ungrateful about what you have. You wish you had the things that you didn't. It's just we know how to do all the things backwards. We know how to sabotage ourselves. We damn good at that. Naturals. Damn good at that. But turn that energy around and make some good changes in your life because you can and you deserve it. And I want to see that happen. I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? My life is great. I, I have nothing to complain about. I go through things. I'm a human. You know what I'm saying? I feel things. I don't feel my Sunday's best every day. I just got, you know, over some sickness. I've been sick for the last two and a half weeks. I had a cold. My immune system went down and then I got a virus. So I've been over here fighting but life is great you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna continue to do what i have to do to achieve my dreams i just want to be free i want to be independent i want to be able to think what i want to think and do what i want to do and travel and move around and sightsee i just want to do what i want to do i know what that looks like i can't explain that to nobody i don't expect anybody to understand but i want to do what i want to do been in love with my guitar you already know that i can't get away from it that's all i want to do I've been playing my guitar. I've been learning a lot because I've been devoting myself to it. I've been taking action. When I used to just sit there and look at the guitars on my wall and be like, man, I wish I could play that. Or I sit there and compare myself to other people. Oh, man, they've been playing for this long and they doing this. When I got out of my head and got into my body and start playing that guitar, it started to make me feel good. Even when I wasn't doing well, it discouraged me sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you. But it felt good to actually try. Doing that hard work pays off.
there's there's nothing I, I just can't explain it I can't bring it to words it's almost like it would put it to shame it would be disrespectful to even try to explain that feeling because you can't these words that we use you just can't you can't describe that feeling of accomplishment hard work you put in all that work you put in all that energy the blood the sweat the tears and you go get that good feeling the right way a lot of people, they use drugs, they use alcohol, they use all these things to cope with what they feel. And, and truth be told, they are getting the right chemicals in their brain, but they're going about it the wrong way. And that's why their life is in shambles. You're addicted to all these things and you're dependent on all these things. But if you went outside and went for a walk, went for a run, you put some time and energy into improving yourself, improving your life, improving your situation, you'll get those same feel-good chemicals. But it'll make your life a whole lot better. It'll make you a whole lot better. Now, if you're doing those things, that doesn't make you less of a person. If you stuck on yesterday, that doesn't make you less of a person. And there's always room for improvement. I'm just here to give you some sort of awareness. I'm just here to spread a message. I'm just here to give y'all the support that y'all gave me. Because I would still be the same me without any of this. But I can't lie to y'all and say that it doesn't feel good to have my messages all over and to be known for what I'm known for. I'm not known for jumping around, making a fool out of myself. I'm not known for being a damn idiot. I'm known for sharing positive messages. And there's always naysayers that come in here. It's always naysayers. But it's people that they not taking action in their own life. They, they have more time and energy to talk down on people rather than change their own situation. Or they don't understand it and they upset that they don't understand something and they take it out on me and that's cool. I have the platform for that, you know what I'm saying? Every time I post a video, I'm here with a target on my chest. Like, come at me for the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I can deal with it. But like I said, I just wanna motivate y'all take some action in your life you deserve a better life you deserve a better situation you deserve everything that you've ever desired but you have to go get it nobody's gonna do it for you i don't know how many times i can tell you nobody's gonna do it for you but once you start to work everybody's gonna want to help you everybody everything changes but by the time everybody want to help you you pretty much got it all on your own. That don't mean don't take help, but trust me, you'll see. Back in the day when I used to need editors and I used to need thumbnail designers and all this stuff, I couldn't get one when I was a small creator. Now I made a name for myself. I get a thousand emails a day. Hey, let me edit your videos. Let me do your thumbnails. Let me do this. Let everybody want to be a part of it. Everybody want a piece of the purple pie. But you're not getting it. So, my friend, my family, my tribe member, my fellow being of this universe, whatever it is that's been weighing on your brain, I'm gonna need you to get out of your mind, get into your body. If you gotta write down a list, if you gotta write down some steps, whatever it is that you need to do, that you've been pondering on, whatever has been weighing you down to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, I need you to take action. You want to go get that job? Go get it. You want to go get that lady? You want to go get that man? You want to go get whatever it is you want in life? Go get it. It's waiting on you. It's waiting on you. And also, I'm going to let you in on another secret, too. If it doesn't go right, it was meant to. There's either another way or somewhere else for you to go. But I promise you, everything will happen as it's supposed to, except for a few things in life. And I think y'all know, um, you know, there's a few things in this life that have no justification. But for the most part, y'all get the point. I'm trying to be motivational here. It'll work out. You got to believe, though. You got to believe like no other. If I told many people what was going on in my brain around this time last year and I told them about my plans and how everything was going to turn out, they wouldn't believe. And the people I did tell, they didn't believe. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a few. You know what I'm saying? People that I hold dear in there. They knew. They believed because they seen that fire in my eyes. And even the ones that didn't believe, they felt uneasy because I had a certain fire in my eyes. I know what I'm going to get out of life. If y'all don't believe me, I can show you right now. I will create music. I will travel the world. I will see everything that I want to see in this lifetime. I will experience everything that I want to in this lifetime. I will find love. I will have peace. I will have happiness in my life. And be grateful for everything that I go through. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Because I believe in myself. And I will have everything that I want in this life. Everything that I deserve. I deserve a good life. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be loved by many, but most importantly, myself. There's nothing anybody can do to change my mind about my life and the way I want to live it because when I die, it's going to be me dying. So I'm going to live my life the way I want to. And I'm going to take action every day to bring me closer to every goal that I have. And that's my mission. What will you do with your life? That's the real question. And when are you going to start? What are you waiting on? Don't give me any more watch time. Go do something. I'll talk to you later.